You said just a moment ago something that suggested that maybe we're the only conscious beings and the consciousness might only exist on this planet. Did you say there's 400 billion galaxies? Each of which contains 100 billion stars or so. And as far as we can tell, almost every star is the solar system around it. So that's, uh, that's as many planets as there are grains of sand on Earth, essentially. Right. So isn't it unlikely that we're the only consciousness? I think it's, only, think it's fair to say it's unlikely. On the other hand, it's fair to say we don't have the slightest idea. I'm very suspicious when people make claims about the existence or non-existence of life elsewhere because we don't even understand the origin of life here on Earth. What we do understand is that we have particular special circumstances that led to life on Earth. We see, as far as we can tell, in your home country in Australia, among the oldest fossils on Earth, maybe four billion years. So I think life is ubiquitous. I, I think life forms relatively easily, if I were to guess. And I suspect there's other forms of life in our solar system, microbial life, probably in the oceans of Enceladus and Europa and places like that. But that's a huge leap from there to consciousness. But what is clearly true is we needed for four billion years for consciousness of, of our type to arise on Earth. And that required a, a, a relatively quiescent period, right? We, there have been impacts that almost destroyed life on Earth, but they weren't life-destroying comets or asteroids. And we're in, we're in a relatively safe outer suburb of our, of our galaxy. So in an absolute sense, one might argue that therefore intelligence is extremely rare. Now, is it so rare that if you have, you know, 400 billion times a, 100 billion possible locations for life that it won't happen? And the answer is we don't know. It's also, in, in my mind, a little bit disingenuous to use that kind of absolute probability argument, because, because while, while there was one particularly strange route that took us to life on Earth, there was one particularly strange route that led me to know both of you. Just think of all the things that had to happen in, in each of our lives for us to be together today. As a, as, phys as a physicist, I like to think of something we call maximum likelihood. I think the, the, the likelihood of, li of intelligent life is extremely small. But I think it's also possible to say the likelihood of not having any roots that lead to intelligent life is smaller. So even though the probability, absolute probability of life may be one in a hundred billion, if the absolute probability of, of not having intelligent life is one in a thousand billion, then there's 10 times more life on planets than there, than there is in life. So